The servicing cars here is very compulsory, okay? Welcome to using public transport. So my bus is delayed. What name is it on that? Yeah. Another thing is car insurance, okay? You also need to make sure your car is insured. Good morning guys so i'm going to service my car and i wanted to take you guys along and i'm going to be telling you guys what it entails to service your car so basically i booked an appointment with my car dealership so they have several dealerships here depending, depending on your own car type okay so for instance they have um toyota service dealership in, in 600 meters this thing keep interrupting me please ignore guys so they have several uh, places you can go to service your car just check the dealership that is close to you okay so for instance they have um, Nissan dealership uh, they have Toyota dealership depending on your type of car okay so I booked uh, an appointment for servicing my car servicing cars here is very compulsory okay you have to service every six months so i know you guys are also um interested in finding out the price so i spoke with my dealership and they told me that they are going to charge me um 200 and i think 70 something or 80 something servicing cars here ranges from 250 i think the average is around 250 ish okay to 300 and it depends on your type of car okay even car registration they register your car according to the make if you have like a very flashy car like a very modern type of car it's going to cost you more to um service the car and also to register the car so driving cars here is, is a luxury guys it's not that uh, cheap you can't just buy a car and that's it no the car needs to be roadworthy and all that guys i think i'm actually late and am i late i have a few more minutes before i run late so yeah um what else do i want to share with you guys yeah um another thing is car insurance okay you also need to make sure your car is insured that one is not um compulsory but um you have to okay there's a place an online platform where you can actually compare different um insurance companies you know compare the prices find out which one is better for you and car insurance can range from 800 and something 800 and something dollars a year to 1000 2000 3000 depending on the kind of cover you are getting or the type of car you have as well if your car mirror for instance is like a ten thousand dollars to fix okay those kind of cars you will have to pay more to insure it so what happens is you can go to ordinary mechanic okay um to go service your car or you can go to the exact car dealership okay mechanics ordinary mechanics or general mechanics they tend to collect less fees okay to service the car but if you are like going to your own car dealership you are going to pay a bit more okay i want to go to the car dealership even though it's a little bit more expensive okay but yeah i'll just do that for now um as time goes on i'll then figure out a good um mechanic where i'll be going to so yeah what else what else i feel like i'm jump packing everything um yeah i really need this video to be very informative i don't want to just be showing you guys my I know you guys love my vlogs okay but i make this type of videos because i know that people will people might be searching for it and people might be it's like a need okay it's a need kind of content okay not just for entertainment or fun or showing you guys my lifestyle and all that so i believe these sort of videos i'll just be making them more often because me i search for these things i search for these um type of videos but i never see them on youtube even if i see them i see them in different language or not in nigerian doing it so use me as your <laughs> use me as your plug niger girl niger mom <laughs> there's a channel called niger mom in australia so check her out and subscribe to her i'm shouting you out niger mom but we are all nigerian moms here in australia towards john street then turn left onto john street it's like i've missed road turn left 
so when booking for the servicing when booking for the servicing they will ask for your car registration of course another thing you need to get is your vein there's what they call vein here v-i-n okay so you need to know your vein have it handy have your car registration handy just snap your car or as they asked me before i could book for the servicing my car radio my vein um the car make okay you have to know exactly what year the car was made um which other thing if i remember another thing i'll put it on the screen guys services i say service oh, traffic is crazy guys i'm trying to this is morning this is a oh no i should have taken the other way actually so i'm going to drop the car off at the dealership so they told me to drop it off at 9 a.m okay and then i'll come back to pick the car at 2 30 when they must have finished the servicing and everything so that's um what you have to do okay if you're going to service make sure that you have uh, you book it on the days you are not going to anything important because you have to drop your car there with them give them your keys and all that and then um you can't pick it up after few hours so they asked me to pick it up at 2 30 can you let me oh thank you thank you so much <laughs> i love people like this one person continue when the traffic is crazy like this uh, you'll be begging people please let me in let me in but this person was actually very kind so thank you i'm going to drop the car guys i'll probably talk to you guys when i'm there or when i'm picking the car up i have my atm card i don't know if I, i'm paying now or when i'm picking the car i think it's when i'm picking the car actually so if you have any concern with the car this is the time to also tell them about it this is why i wear glasses you guys in as much as i love glasses as well i cannot drive without glasses most of the time because australian sunny eh? imagine this thing hitting in my eyeballs no it's awful so yeah i'll talk to you guys later okay okay my loves please subscribe oh, subscribe i don't know why i'm saying it i'm supposed to be shouting it subscribe uh, subscribe like comment if you have questions leave them in the comment section okay guys i'll talk to you later let me just head there and tell you guys how it goes probably see when i'm picking the car up or if i'm able to carry you along inside there then i will Yep, no dramas. Okay. What name is it on that? Vera. Vera, yeah, okay. Um, uh, your best phone number is right? Yep. Cool. Is there any special time you need the back today? I think I was called 2.30. About 2.30, yep. Yeah. Yeah. No dramas. Cool. I'll send you a text message or I'll give you a ring when it's all done. Oh, no problem, so I'll just grab the keys off you. Good. Good. hey guys so i've just dropped off my car i'm waiting for a bus right now i'm currently carless so i have to be using bus till throughout today on until i pick my car so look at that glow look at this glow guys i'll talk to you guys when i am in the bus come to using public transport so my bus is delayed seven minutes delayed so this is what you will be dealing with if you don't have a car in this this part of the country it's crazy seven minutes delay i don't have apple car so i'll be using my i'll be using my atm card is it coming it's not coming two thousand years later So 
and now I have to wait for another one. Okay, hey, wahala. Finally made it guys. I'm going to see you when I'm going to collect the cow. Okay? I'm home. Many hours later. So guys, I've just gone into to collect my car keys. So I think everything is fine, like he said. He said everything is perfectly fine. There's no issues. It's not as if I had any concern. It's just that it's something you need to do. So uh, that's basically done. So they gave me this just information um i ended up paying 260 okay so i guess because everything is perfectly okay this is a new car anyway so you shouldn't have any yeah everything is perfectly fine i'm super thankful um where all this thing came from there's a booklet there's a bag What's it? is this money i think they are mine let me be sure if i carry their property they go house you yeah, guys this is actually my first time coming here to do this on my own it's always been my husband's duty <laughs> to carry my car and go service for me but this time this time he was like you have to do it yourself so that you will learn that's one thing i love about my husband he always push you to learn and sometimes it feels like oh this man is just it's just wickedness <laughs> but honestly guys he just wants me to be to learn to be independent and just to be able to do things on my own why am i struggling with this thing perfect so let's head home guys so like i said they collected to let's be moving as i just you guys because i'm not sure i think other people would like to park here so let me not block block the way should be the man said i should take this this side oh today i'm so tired guys i'm so tired it's been just um I've just gone home, uh, did a few things. Where's okay? Let me set this way, right? Where is the where's the way out, guys? You guys have to tell me where the way out is. There are cars everywhere. Usually they have different car car types, car makes, car dealerships in one center. So here they have Hyundai. Is it Hyundai? He Hyundai. They have here and there, they have Nissan, they have Ford. Hello, excuse me. This is truck block road. Hey, hey, I'm not going to struggle to go and scratch my car. You have to move, man. You have to move. Thank you. Yeah, cars everywhere. Oh my gosh. This is way out now. Why is somebody driving in? Oh my gosh, I didn't wear my glasses. Ah. Why are you driving in through this way? This is way, it clearly says way out. I struggled a little bit to come out of there but that's fine everything is done like i said so my car is currently up to date with servicing so that's good um yeah if you have any questions let me know i need my glasses another expenses with car is of course the fuel you buy and washing the car i don't think i'm going to wash the car today because yeah take coming here you guys coming here took me so long almost two hours for seven minutes drive Make it make sense public transport is the ghetto especially here in newcastle or in regional areas in general public transport here you cannot trust them so many delays it's crazy i spent almost two hours coming here something that would have been like seven minutes drive if i was driving i spent almost two hours so yeah if you're coming to regional area guys make sure that you come with your driver's license you cannot do without that i'm telling you guys as a sister you need your driver's license if you're moving to australia that is the best advice someone will give you okay so yeah you need your own driver especially if you have kids or planning to have children here 
you need to have your car because probably transport here it a mess it is a mess actually so yeah so that's it guys don't forget to like share subscribe leave thumbs up leave several comments leave questions we have one and i'll definitely hopefully see you all again in my next video okay love you bye